This conference will now be recorded. Hi, hello all. Welcome to the next session on SAP ABAP. In the last few classes we have discussed. We have discussed the fundamentals of an ABAP. <clears throat> and also as part of the fundamentals and we have missed out one concept called control break statements. The last class just I have given over you. So what exactly the control break statements normally if you want to do any calculations if you want to do any control on the uh, internal table records you need to handle a lot of logic yesterday I've shown the logic so how to handle the first record how to handle the last record and how to do the sum and all but it's in a complicated process and you are going to it's an error prone so you should not do by using the uh, site abix and describe table to handle the last record and all so to do an sum actually so we, if you want to control the records in a internal table we have an a control break statements so normally the control break statements are control break student uh, events we have so as part of the control break statement we have had first uh, and uh, uh, at first and and at and which will be triggered okay whenever the first record comes in the internal table the event which will be triggered is the at first and end at in the internal table you, you will loop it right loop and loop suppose if you have 10 records it will loop for the 10 times when the first record comes the at first event will be triggered when the last record comes the at last event will be triggered these two are very simple these two are very very simple guys but i have another uh, set of uh, events whenever the same group of lines are started a at new event will be triggered guys so what i told whenever the see the sentence so whenever the same group of lines are started simple statement so i will go to the internal table first then tell me where exactly the same group of lines are starting tell me exactly where the same group of lines are starting okay first one is the 100 so right uh, it's a new one I can say it's a new one new record one then when the same group of lines are started next 101 correct so because here it is ended and here it's starting the new record I can say it's new to and when the uh, the other one is 10 so it's an a n3 guys see so So what I told, what my definition, yet new will be triggered when the same group of lines are started. That means the at new will be triggered on the first record. The at new will be triggered one, two, three, fourth record. Okay, this is I can say. Uh, okay, leave it. This is my first record. This is my second record, third record, fourth record, and my yet new will be triggered on the seventh record. One, two, three, four, five, six, seventh record, guys. So are you clear now? So at new will be triggered here. Now tell me. So what is my another statement is at end of. It will be triggered when the same group of lines are ended. Simple. When the same group of lines are ended, the at new uh, at end of event will be triggered. See. So now you go to the internal table. So now tell me when the at end of event will be triggered third record perfect so you can see same group of lines 100 100 100 when it is ending at the third record it is ending so i can say the at end of oh, sorry the at end of uh, event will be triggered uh, here so i can say it even yeah, ending record i can say it even next when it will be triggered control c this record right one two three four five at sixth position it is uh, ending the second ending uh, group of same group of five lines are ended at here and now tell me at ninth record guys simple so if you understand this simple guys the events are very very easy events are very very easy see yet new will be triggered three times at end of will be triggered three times but the triggering point is different see so the starting point it's an ending point the point is different that's it so now so tell me if i want to do any sum b 
be careful listen if i want to do any sum which event i need to use at end of why because so whenever it is ended do the sum whenever it is ended do the sum whenever it is ended do the sum guys so that's why i put so whenever at end of i did an a sum statement guys so this is an a control break statement simple so it's an inbuilt framework given by abap no need to worry no don't do this much logic guys that's why i commented that logic okay so go here thirty-eight control break change so what we are doing if you want to handle this we have written a lot of uh, laborious task laborious task means it's a laborious so efforts are more guys and also error prone okay which is not good I don't want to use this so instead of this I'm going to use because I will keep that also because to uh, to give them a difference between this and that I have included I have commented that code as well guys so now first I will do yet first and every time you need to write end at case at end if and if okay case and case loop and loop do and do while and while at first and and at okay pretty print out see at first what you will do maybe whenever I print suppose I would like to print summary so what I am going to do whenever you want to do an at first maybe at first I will provide a description case so whenever I start the first I first record I am going to put in a descriptions so what is the descriptions I need to print is so maybe I can print sales order it's a summary report guys it's a sales order summary report and also I will print even I can print that also okay all right okay it's a sales order summary means order level uh, information I need to give guys that's a summarized information that's a summarized information guys maybe when you go to the Amazon first you see the order order value when you click on the order it goes and it will display the items item the picture the cost second item the picture that cost same way guys here also first I display the summary information when I click on it goes to the the item level information guys so it's a that's why I put it in a sales order summary report at the first beginning and next one is the I put in a descriptions and also I put in a this one guys psi v line what I am doing I am doing in a, a vertical line and also guys I will print in a so u line as well to print an underline uh, i will print an underline tabular format i am printing and v line and the next one is order and also price just i will display in a price psi iphone v line vertical line next is currency guys what what is the amount of currency okay uh, psi iphone v v line so that's my header first record I am going to print a header of the report guys so do this and enter and maybe I will print now you can see guys see sales order summary report uh, sales order price and currency maybe I will print an underline as well after this I print an underline okay uh, every time first yeah you line after printing this you start with the U line. That means you will get in a tabular format. See, I get in a tab. Guys, I'm getting in a additional horizontal line. I don't want this much. What I need to do? Perfect. You need to use an offset functionality. Maybe I put an offset functionality. Order is 10. Uh, 10 or 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11. 11 is max guys so maybe 11 as 11 plus price price the amount field value is more guys price i can take uh, at least 
20 11 plus 20 11 plus 22 32 32 plus currency is uh, 32 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 32. okay i will give the 40 guys u line of the 40 but you cannot maybe can i give like this is it accepting yes it's accepting of 40 lines print only the 40 lines see guys it is it's not accepting see it's giving me the hmm, red means error mark even i use right statement but whenever you use the right you have to use psi guys so system variable you need to use it whenever you use a right statement now it's accepting see now it's accepting yeah so we'll print the same control c and control v and ready printer do the syntax check and activate yes so we are doing some like this maybe yeah we'll do later uh, maybe it's not going okay how much maybe not uh, reduce uh, more uh, um, maybe uh, 30 i'm giving uh, approximately guys okay uh, i think i can increase two more okay 32 perfect yes the total length is the 32 now what i need to print actually i need to print the data right so maybe if i want to print the data so my next event is maybe my next event i will use at last guys okay i don't use at last now so my, i am going to use i need to calculate a sum i am going to use at end of okay at end of which field you need to consider guys the field name you need to mention in the at end of you have to mention the field name so what field name you need to look see i'm saying at end of but which field i need to consider which field uh, no no uh, at end of i said so for the order when the order completes do the sum we are doing a sum on price but what is the control field the control field is the sales order for this order what is the sales price right what for this order what is the sales price so i am going to put in a control on the order so what is the order here it's in a vbe ln so at end of vbe ln that means at end of sales order guys so i put in a field is sales order if you see the field is the sales order at end of vbe ln now do the sum do sum and and at and at and now write the things guys right now i have any data gs underscore sales iphone print the order okay and print the sales iphone price and print the gs underscore sales iphone and w a e r k guys so save and pretty printer and do the syntax check and uh, correct and it double ur so this is the price which we have taken yes perfect pretty printer execute and execute and execute see guys so first i will go to the here 55 500 55 500 plus 600 how much 56 100 guys see did you do the calculation did you write this uh, laborious this logic did you and a lot of things guys a lot of errors uh, we are going to get if you do like this see control break statement automatically it sums guys at end of this it does the sum and it is printing see 156 and 101 1400 is it is it see and 102 36000 101 check 101 100 100 101 300 101 800 101 oh correct here that's why so maybe one thing uh, 101 
Samsung value is 30,000. Okay. So now you can execute and see guys 31,000 on Exactly, you got the sum, but some problem I am getting guys. See, currency goes as an asterisk. So see guys, whenever you do any very, very must is the, uh, the sum of the notes when we do the control break statement. So preconditions for the con very, very important. Okay, preconditions. So what you need to do when you want to apply any con control break statement. Can anybody tell the worst condition I have explained in the last class? So what you need to do first? Perfect. You have to do any sort guys. Otherwise system will give it doesn't identify. Why? Because suppose if un my under is there here. So how system will knows when it is should be started when it should be ended. Right. So always you have to do any sort on the field guys. So sort on the control field. First condition this kind of things will be interview questions guys. Okay. I will ask you a question. What is control big statement? You will say everybody will say at first at last at new at ten. But the when you when I want to check whether you are working on control break statement or not. So you must um, tell this kind of answer. You need to sort internal table based on the control field guys. Based on the control field. What is the control field over here? Sales order is the control field. You are doing operations based on the order. So you have to do any sort by using sort based on the control field the first condition the second condition do not use where condition in the loop don't use the where condition guys that means suppose if i do the where condition see loop at condition loop at this we can use the where condition as well guys so suppose if i put a where VBG LN equal to the 100. That means it will loop only the sales order where the sales order number equal to 100. Okay, it will loop only those things. But my control break statement will not work when you use the where condition, guys. So this is also one more thing. Plain loop statement, we have to use it. The third statement is you have to whenever whenever you use the uh, whenever you use the control break statement whenever we use the control break statement the left hand side fields of control field the left hand side character fields of the control field will become asterisk this becomes an asterisk what is the spelling here asterisk huh? yeah so asterisk and numeric fields will be numeric fields will be summed up see guys what i did i have an a field i have an a field see i have an a control field this is my control field okay uh, what I put left hand side or right hand side? Uh, sorry, not left hand side. Uh, right hand side character fields. So here you can see my right hand side fields. This is my order. Okay, my right hand side fields. I have an a currency. Currency is an a what kind of field? It's in a character field. INR means it's in a character. This will become an a asterisk case. That value will become an asterisk. See in the report if you see. 
all the character fields will become asterisk and the numeric fields will become an a summed up guys numeric fields will become an a summed up if you do an a sum guys so but i need to print inr here i need to print an a inr here so how can i print the value becomes an a asterisk and i need to still i need to print an a inr so what i need to do what i need to do what i need to do huh? to get back my previous values to get back my previous values define temporary work area and move the data to temp work area before applying control break events so what i need to do is so when the data will goes to the asterisk is when you apply in a control break statement that time only the data will goes the data comes as an asterisk so what i am doing before applying these control break events so when you loop immediately i have an a temporary work area guys define one temporary work area and first send the data to the temporary work area so i have the data in temporary work area this work area i am going to send it to the temporary work area see i am i have an x i defined y and i pass the value x equal to y i kept my values in the y so when you want to print the character fields where is my character field sales order price currency so here instead of here instead of this what i will do i will use the temporary work area so here i will be having the values that value i am going to print over here guys simple so do the syntax check yeah see the error is what is the error so gs underscore sales temp is unknown you need to define the work area when you are doing an equal it should be same like in a gs underscore sales so gs underscore sales double click and it is defined with it is defined with this so take the control c and control v and put just it's in a temp that's it and save and pretty printer and do the syntax check and activate and activate and execute now you can see i get back my inr guys instead of asterisk see this is my summary guys so i don't want to handle all this so you handle it so it's it will take some time okay you have to put vertical lines you need to adjust this okay that's i don't handle that now what my uh, i didn't satisfied guys with this uh, with this thing i didn't satisfied so i am going to do in a debugging how exactly the the control break statement will work guys if you want to know exactly what you need to do what you need to do if you want to clearly what exactly the statements are so debug put in a break control break point on the loop because we know already this so this is the way guys you need to debug when you don't know there you have to put the name break point don't do don't put the break point here start again and again don't do that debugging because already we know we are very much familiar with this logic what exactly it's happening and so i would like to know what what is happening over here so execute and gt underscore sales we have nine records yes nine records we did an assault so the whenever i did an assault see i applied an assault i have applied an assault before the alignment is different before the alignment is different do you want to see that also and put on a break point save guys i put on a break point save and debugging uh, you need to restart and execute again and now the debugger will stop at sort statement gt underscore sales 
and see 100 100 100 101 102 101 102 101 102 so don't apply the control break statement like this you have to sort based on the vbln and i did an sort vbln and now the records in the particular c same order same order in a ascending order guys now do the f5 so first it comes site app is equal to one and first what i told at first at first will be triggered for the first record so first maybe i have in a temporary record so i have an gs underscore sales and i am moving the data from temporary and in the temporary you can see the data 155 iphone guys iphone and inr right so maybe i do this do this do this and printing the record first record see site abix equal to one the at first event is triggered at first event is triggered and at end of so is the attend of will trigger now no when the attend of will be triggered when there is in a site abix equal to three the third record the attend of will be triggered see f5 no it's not going inside the attend of come back and the second record and the second record do you see at first is the at first will trigger when site abix equal to two no it's a second record see at first doesn't trigger only first record the at first event will be triggered guys and at end of is it trigger for the second record the at end of no it doesn't trigger and it goes out of this now it goes to the site abix equal to three at first doesn't trigger but at end of event will be triggered guys so come here see it is going inside at end of so now you can see exactly at the third record the at end of event will be triggered now i am printing that value so whenever you do the sum it will sum up the values now you can see the uh, total value the 55000 plus 1100 56100 56100 guys that's exactly the control break statement with the sum keyword with the sum keyword guys that's it this is my logic case and guys i want a underline for each record each record i need a underline where i need to print the underline where i need to print an underline where i need to print header line so what i am planning to do is for every record at new uh, vbe ln for every starting of every first record i put it i print an underline guys okay write uh, this control c control let me print okay print an underline that's it now you can do the output see guys so how exactly the at new will be triggered we'll see now so i will come to the first record and yeah at first will be triggered for the first record that's fine what about at new see guys now based on the data at what index i need uh, the at new will be triggered it will be triggered on the first index then you know, fourth index site abix equal to four and site abix equal to seven guys so every when the, what is the at new whenever the same group of lines are started the at new event will be triggered see now i'll go to the year at new see guys the first site abix equal to one it is triggered then at end of doesn't trigger next it goes at first doesn't trigger at new doesn't trigger and at end of also doesn't trigger third record which one will trigger guys at at end of will be triggered third record see see this table guys data is very very important it's all data analysis so third record at end of even will be triggered right so now i am printing the data fine and next go to the fourth record so fourth record which one will be triggered at new will be triggered guys at new will be triggered so now i go to here see at new will be triggered this is the see when exactly the see 100 100 100 100 100 guys so this is my at new event and also guys i need to trigger i need to print the total value guys so today one customer came ordered three items the total value is three this much and another customer came he ordered one at one is the order number the price is this this is the another customer came he added something this is the price but today as in a sales manager or uh, 
a branch manager i need to see what is the total value of my sales today so what i need to do this is my subtotals i can say in the last i need to use an a totals guys i need to use an a totals this plus this plus this the total value comes over here guys so now tell me which event i need to use huh? attend already i have used attend will work only for the that same group of lines but for all the records the event is the at last guys in the at last of all the records i want a sum i want a sum right and my sum value is i don't want order because it's not related to one order it's not related to one order guys so i want an a price i want in a currency guys so maybe what i can print is instead of this i can print total price all right i can print this so total price my total price is this case this is my total price okay this is the way i am going to print it in the last record i am going to print in a total price and execute and execute execute see guys my total price is at last did i use some no first i print then i did an a sum how it will work is do the sum then print the value pretty printer do the so now you can see f8 and f8 maybe do you want to see the uh, at last so put in a break point here save f8 see guys so what is the site abix 9 9 means it's an a last record it is triggering at last is triggered for the last record f8 now you can see exactly the total price 56 plus 31 uh, 87 87 plus 30 117 117 plus 6 123 guys 1 lakh 23 thousand this is my total price guys this is my total price so this is my control break statement by using the at first at last at new at end at end of guys so this this is my value maybe so what you can do guys this is my summarized report suppose if you want to have an interactive report what you will do what you will do guys suppose if i click on 100 it should display all the 100 details when you click on 101 it should display all the 101 details in the next report if i click on 102 it should display the 102 item details in the next report so which event you are going to use it at line selection perfect guys exactly no now you understand what exactly the at line selection right so you ask three days what is that line selection okay so this is the at line selection so guys if you want to get and which field you clicked on it guys and one more thing i am going to provide a hand symbol where i will provide a hand symbol guys hotspot so sales order number i put in a hotspot then i am going to use guys so uh, which is one is the efficient way to capture the value no sai lizel you have to do an offset functionality uh, get cursor yes get cursor get cursor field gv underscore f name value gv underscore f value okay now save and pretty printer and do the next is i'm going to loop at gt underscore sales now i will use gs underscore sales i want only where my vbeln which is equal to the gv underscore fbal so i want only the click down value and loop them and print them guys loop it and print it okay we'll do in debugging no problem controls okay control chat control c and print the those values guys and pretty printer and do the syntax check and gv underscore f name and f value is unknown so this kind of situation guys you never know on which field you clicked on it and if you know that's no problem but if you don't know and define a string gv underscore f name and type string 
and the gv underscore f v a l you know what is the type of this v b a l n underscore v a so i know i am going to click on only the sales order number the value is in a type of a sales order number guys so save activate and okay and now i am going to put an a a break point in the headline selection put the break point and execute i don't bother about the first report because already you have seen what exactly the first and now guys 100 101 and 102 see if i go here i will get an hand symbol if i come here no hand symbol if i go hand symbol if i know no hand symbol it's an art spot and clicking on 101 click on 101 and f5 and you see see you clicked on the vbln field and the value is 101 guys this is exactly headline selection with the get cursor field on which field you clicked on it the value which value you clicked on it now pass this 101 and only loop those values so item details so 101 what are all the items see this is my items guys maybe i will print the uh, material as well I will print the material as well now you can see but the material is not there <laughs> i'm going to print the order yes underscore sales m8 here i am going to show the detailed information guys so what is the material what is the item number everything i am going to show it item number i didn't pass it but now you can see the values <laughs> see guys double click now 102 so now i clicked on 102 see the value gv underscore field name is this but value is the 102 it will loop the 102 only it will pass the 102 and it will loop and you can see vivo vivo sg vivo case the values are this case this is then a detailed information of an order so exactly this is an a control break statement guys this is the control break statement right simple huh? okay now now i will copy this program copy change position field i am going to change the position of the field now change see guys i have an a vbln here in the first position right i am going to keep this uh, maybe i take this material control x i will put this material over here control v simple change what i did in the first position i put an a material the second position i put in a sales order number so see the behavior of the output execute see guys see guys so my behavior entirely changed se38 and the last program is this last program is this f8 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 remove breakpoint effect see exactly you're working 100 101 102 but when i keep the material number first that means i have changed the my control field to the second position so now it is triggering for every record guys every record it is triggering every record it is triggering so what exactly this means is so I copy this copy this table new slide paste this slide. okay maybe uh, insert uh, columns to the left okay and copy this control c and control v okay delete this now 
so this is my exactly the behavior guys when i put this you are going to get the data in this so it like this you are going to get it guys so i applied in a control back now here so maybe i i change this to the what exactly our fields mat nr and vbe ln and net wr and wrk see i put an a control break over here but i have an a left hand side fields guys left hand side fields so if you see the sum 100 okay i will print the even i will print uh in the here i'll print the material as well in the uh, first here i'm going to print maybe i will print the material as well guys and gs underscore sales hyphen mat and okay now i am going to print a material as well see iphone this sorry clicking is for iphone the value printing i case it is printing isg it is printing samsung it is printing s case it is printing okay so so what is the problem here what is the problem here what is the problem here hmm? so whenever you apply in a control break statement if your field is in in a different position even it will consider the left hand side fields as well guys so i put on a before my control field is at first position there is no left hand side fields if it is in a first position there is no left hand side fields but here i have at a second position i have in a left hand side fields matnr suppose if i put vbln here uh, any uh, uh, currency over here so i will be having two left hand side fields Suppose if I have VBLN over here, I will be having three left-hand side fields. Even whenever the left-hand side field also changed, that time also the at and off and at new will be triggered, guys. So it will consider the left-hand side fields as well. Okay, that's the at and off and at new statements, guys. So so I will come to the part. It will be triggered when the same group of lines are ended and also if the control field at at other position at other position than first position did you get my point if the control field is at other position than the first position it will consider the left hand side fields as well that means whenever the left hand side field changed even it will be triggered guys even the same at new also the behavior is same and also at new also the behavior is same guys the behavior is same the at new behavior is also same so maybe uh, we'll uh, we'll see the data now so now you can see so i put a, what is the second this is the second yeah so this is my 100 guys ideally at end of will be triggered at here right but if the control field at second position even it will consider material okay iphone 100 one record now it becomes this combination of these two fields will become in a same group guys one group the combination of two fields will become in a same group now so next record what is the what is the this case case this is the case that means is the unique record this one and this one no because the another is the case product suppose if you have like this insert a rows below uh, uh, sorry insert rows below suppose if i have iphone 100 i am sending this to the another uh, customer with the 60000 and inr now tell me so when the at end of will be triggered because first it will come iphone 100 and iphone 100 when the record is changed when the record is ended 
at the second record this record is ended because iphone is same and 100 is same so now it is ending at the second record so at end of will be triggered at the second record guys did you get my point so even it will consider the left hand side fields whenever if you have a control field at the different position it consider the left hand side fields whenever it is changed whenever it is ended that time only the at end of field will be triggered in the same way the at new also same guys maybe i will insert this record in the program now you will see the behavior guys so come back and after the uh, iphone i will insert one more record control c same i did in the uh, ppt now also i did in the uh, year guys 10 uh, 55000 iphone and uh, maybe i will change this to the 60000 so now what is the value it should come 55 plus 60 55 plus 60 115 so ideally my order value should be based on the product it will display guys see 100 iphone the value is 1 lakh 15 thousand guys so it is considering the left hand side feeds as well guys that's in a control break statement guys and apart from this we have one more event that event is the on change of guys so next event in the control break statement the more event last event is the on change of on change of so it which is works which works similar to the so which work which is which bvs similar to the yet new event guys which is similar to the at new event on change of but on change of which is similar to the at new event maybe i will apply the on change of on this okay maybe i will take one more internal table i i will have a separate program for this case come back and save I will write in a one more special behavior. That's why I keep in a one more program on change of change. So what I did, maybe instead of at end of what I will do on change of VBE LN okay do the save ready printer do the syntax check so you see guys whenever it is giving me the syntax error okay it is giving me the syntax error whenever you use the on change of you have to define a work area guys before i didn't use the work area right gs underscore sales hyphen so uh, on change of guys now tell me and it's is it ended now tell me which which i need to use uh, end of uh, okay on okay end on okay maybe yeah you think on off that it's an end on okay on and on do and do do and do yet and that on and on guys so this is the syntax okay do the activate guys i will put an a breakpoint on change of for the behavior what exactly the behavior and also what is my next comment guys so on change of we have to define the control field with work area so this is also second uh, behavior now execute the program on change of okay site abix okay that means that means okay first record it is coming okay on change of my behavior i will see uh, what is the first insert text okay on change of one normally tell me if it is an at new when it will be triggered guys when the same group of lines are started so it's my new record new one suppose if i apply new one even new one also trigger over here right at the 
index first on change of its trigger i do an sum but normally we should not do any sum on the on change of why because even it is triggering for the first record right f7 at last no it doesn't trigger next it goes to the second record see the internal table values gt underscore sales so second record iphone iphone 100 100 is it changing is the record is changing is the record is changed no so f5 second record at first second record will, will be triggered no and uh, at new is it going to trigger at new is it a new record no unchanged is it changing the record no and at last is it a last record no and it goes here the third record the third record is case case is a name so is the record is changing is it's a new record actually it's in a new record and at new will be triggered at new at first will not be triggered and at new will be triggered yes this is a new record the at new will be triggered so control c control so very important guys when you come to the interview i will draw in a table i will put on a records i will ask you how many times at new event will be triggered what is the position of the at new and i will draw in a figure and how many times at end of will be triggered and draw where the index where the at end of event will be triggered i will put on a one table on change of so on change of where on change of will be triggered and what is the position of the on change of guys so if you are able to answer that question so i will have a good impression guys why because it's in a little analytical skills over here guys so it's not straightforward so you have any some logical thing over here so if you answer so by heart kind of things by heart answers there is no much value when there is a logical thing there is a value for your interviews case so this kind of things are the logical things okay if i ask what is the system variable for the uh, list report three uh, secondary index three no, sorry secondary list three Psi LSI, what is the system variable to hold the secondary index list? Psi LSI, that's an a by hearted kind of stuff, right? So there is not that much value. But if you answer this kind of things, there will be a lot of value. So now we are into the at new. Okay, uh, third position. So at new is triggered. Fine. And on change of. So when I, it will compare with the previous record, is the value changed? Yes, the value is changed. So the value we changed it is an i case the product is i case my order is at the second position guys if you see the internal table my order is at second position and you see the the order is 100 but the left hand side field the value is in a material guys so now you can see oh it doesn't trigger guys sorry it doesn't trigger so what is the behavior now tell me ideally it should trigger ideally it should trigger guys 100 i case it should trigger why it's not triggering can anybody tell me simple can anybody tell me why it's not triggering on change of why it's not triggering is it considering the left hand side fields is it considering the left hand side fields because it is checking the control field vbln so at end of at new will consider the left hand side fields so here there is a change ideally at new and at end of should be triggered over here but on change of doesn't consider the left hand side fields guys that's the difference so what is on change of so it doesn't consider the left hand side fields so if that is the case on change of when it will be triggered hmm? it will be triggered guys so 100 no change 100 no change 100 no change 100 no change 101 there is a change in the order that means on change of will be triggered on the samsung guys so if it is in a samsung it's in a new record now 
I put an a break point inside the on change guys. If I execute, it comes to that particular record. Execute. See site tab is equal to five. What is the material Samsung guys? So on change of triggered. Okay, whenever there is any value change, but the field, the control field, wherever it may be, whether it is in a first position or second position or third position, the behavior is same, guys. Whenever the value changes, the on change off will be triggered. It doesn't consider the left hand side fields, all the blank faces. Are you following me or not? Huh? Yeah, so just simple on change off doesn't consider the left hand side fields. If it is an at new and at end off, it will consider the left hand side fields if the control field exists in a different position if the first position the behavior is same of at new end and on change of field guys that's an on change of uh, behavior on change of left hand side fields so it doesn't consider the left hand side fields guys and maybe so what about uh, those things uh, asterisk and all so maybe i will come back i comment this uh, to get an asterisk so i don't put an a temporary is the on change whenever you apply an on change the character field will become asterisk or not we'll see that okay because i don't know so f8 and f8 f8 Okay, product. Okay, I print currency because it will consider the right hand side fields. I will print in a currency. Where is the currency? On <laughs> change of the untemp currency. Okay. Instead of temp, I will print from the sales. Execute INR. See, my INR is, I will put in a breakpoint. Whenever you apply an on change off, okay, I will go to the internal table. In internal table, I applied an on change off here. So currency is at right hand side. It's in a character field. I printed the value from the GS underscore sales only. I didn't print from the temporary work area. I printed directly from the main work area. So if I print from the main work area, normally whenever you apply in a control break statements, the character field will goes to the asterisk. But it's not going for an asterisk case. So that is also one more difference. If you apply the all other control break statements, it will go, the character field goes to the asterisk. But when we apply on change of the, uh, the character fields of the right hand side fields of the uh, the character fields of the right hand side fields will not change to asterisks so it doesn't change to the asterisk case that's a difference between the other um, control break statement and on change of case so that's it uh, from the control break state point of, uh, statement point of view case so the fundamentals we almost got 105 ppt's with a, a basic abap uh, with the data dictionary and reporting with classical and interactive with control break statements and uh, with the events and uh, so this is all about my basic above fundamentals now guys now so i will go to the one of the reporting program sales Interactive at user command at line selection. Did you use where the at user uh, at line selection we have used? Execute.
Okay, close, uh, stop. Let's see, 38. So you have an A, uh, at selection screen, at selection screen. We have handled the at selection screen output case, where it is. Star out. Yeah, selection screen, uh, dynamic radio buttons, execute. See guys, this is my logic. When I click this, you will get this. When I click this, you will get this. You will get both, you will get an F both. So same report guys. I'm developing same kind of report in one project. There are 10 reports, example. There are 10 reports. I want the same logic in the 10 reports. I want the same kind of logic like I want the same internal table declaration same selection screen in my 10 reports but in the 10 reports what you need to do you have to implement the same functionality right so if you want to implement the same functionality it's an a cost effective because I need to utilize the 10 resources and the cost is more right so instead of that my program I don't write the program directly like this case so we have any techniques called the modularization techniques case the modularization techniques so what exactly it is so modularization techniques we'll use an a reusable functionality modularization techniques so modularization provides It ensures following one is the code reusability and the second one is the code maintainability and third one is the code reusability maintainability and also code readability code readability uh, reusability maintainability under readability and that's it guys so this this will ensure the you can reuse the code so let's take an example of I have an a data the selection screen declaration and so this selection de declaration I have defined in one program right in one report i would like to use the same selection screen logic and also the at selection screen output logic where it is yeah this logic okay in different program 10 programs but you have written the code in inside only one report one program and this code is restricted to this program only guys this code is restricted to this program only but i would like to reuse this functionality in 10 places so how can you do that so for that sap has given some of the uh, uh, concepts called one is the the uh, modularization types modularization types one is the include programs till now you have seen executable program while creating the program you are selecting executable program executable program right this is the second type of program include program next one is the very very important function modules case functions okay so we have used one function to convert to add the leading zeros so that time someone asked what is this function right call pattern so exactly that function model sap has predefined function model for everything guys suppose <coughs> if you want to create an a sales order there is an a function if you want to change a sales order there is an a function if you want to display in a sales order there is an a function if you want to create an a customer there is an a function if you want to change in a customer there is an a function so there are lot of function models in the sap and function models and subroutines and uh, um, macros and uh, uh, object oriented app case these are all the modularization techniques we have so what exactly the include program what exactly the function module and what is macros and what is object oriented above so 
these are also comes under the modulation techniques also comes under the fundamentals in my abap programming so without this you cannot do anything guys in abap you you can't do anything without knowing this in every program in every program in standard program also you see this kind of things so to create an a sales order what is the transaction code va01 perfect so that ppt is very very important guys so we are going to handle from now okay the total the real time things the sales and distribution flow we are going to use and <coughs> because why we will use sales is when you go to any company definitely you see any projects in the sales okay this is the thing order to create the to create any sales order sales order to create va01 so when i ask whenever you woke up if i ask the question in this ppt and in this ppt you should be able to answer the things guys very very important so for every transaction guys in background there is an a program for every application there is an a program guys for every transaction va01 there is an a program va02 this application i can say there is an a program and uh, customer xd01 there is an a program for everything for se38 also there is an a program b background to write your program there is an se38 for se38 also background there is an a program kernel level program we have guys so maybe i will go to the va01 is it an a uh, we developed this transaction no sap predefined application is a standard application so to find out the program of an any transaction code you have to go to the system and the status and see this is an a program guys double click on this program see guys you have an a include program you have an a include program you have an a include program so include 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 not only this program guys if you see any standard program you see the includes and also you see the functions you see the <coughs> subroutines okay you see the classes you see the macros macros so if you don't know these concepts you cannot understand any standard programs even understanding the standard code is also very very important guys why it is important is always we are going to try to use the existing applications on top of it if you want to enhance it and also suppose if you want to uh, take the same functionality you need to build in a new application so you must know the what exactly the standard sap how the sap standard behaves and what is the behavior of the standard sap and we are going to see that kind of see macros you can see the macros and you can see the c classes object oriented abap classes every program you see the include programs and also you see the functions also guys so functions function group did you see any function group no so maybe i go to the package and uh, va and you can see the function groups and every function group will have any function modules so you can see the function module guys this is the function module this is the function module guys so every program you can see these kind of details so we'll start from tomorrow what exactly the include program what exactly the function models and what is subroutines and what is class what is object what is macro we'll see in the next subsequent classes guys that's it for that today do you have any questions no just do the practice on the control back statements case okay see the behavior do the debugging huh? just you will just if you copy paste my code you will get any result but you need to debug how exactly at first when it is triggering at end of when it is triggering at new when it is triggering at last when it is triggering and change the position of the field and see the behavior you have your own values not only my values you can put your own values huh? so girls i think you have a lot of products you can put any your products and you can choose the values case so that's a, a thing thank you all see you tomorrow bye bye